Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to do an experiment. So, no, oh, I'm being attacked by a common carder queen. Um, I'm often asked what's the right hole size for bee hotels, which are, are um, accommodation breeding sites for solitary bees, particularly mason bees, which love to nest in a horizontal hole. And they're really easy to make just by drilling holes in a block of wood. But what is the best size hole to make? What do they prefer? I usually say when I'm asked that question, eight millimeters. And I'm not quite sure why. I mean, I know from experience that eight millimeters works, but is it the best size? Would they prefer nine or seven? I don't know, because I've never tried it. So I thought I'd do an experiment. So and it's really simple and you, can, you, you could join me. You could do the same experiment and let me know how you get on. So here we have a block of wood. It's a lump of oak. Uh, I don't think it matters what uh, piece of type of wood you use, but that's an experiment for another day. Um, let me just show you. So it looks a bit complicated, but all I've done is marked out a grid and um, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill 60 holes of five different sizes. I'm going to have six mil holes, seven mil holes, eight mil holes, nine mil holes, and 10 mil holes. So eight's in the middle. So I'll try slightly bigger than the usual recommendation and slightly smaller. And I'm going to make 12 holes of each, of each size, so 60 holes in total in this lump of wood. So I've just marked out a grid and I've randomly marked numbers between six and 10 mill next to it so it basically there'll be a hole where each cross is in my grid and the numbers indicate the, the diameter of the hole pretty simple the reason for randomizing it experimentally that's really important because if for example i did all the big holes at the top and the small holes at the bottom and i found just for example that the bees all preferred the ones at the top it might be because bees somehow like the top of bee hotels, not because the holes are bigger. But if you randomize it, then if the bees are all in the 10 mil holes, that suggests they really do like 10 mil holes. The reason for doing 12 of each, lots of replicates, is that that's also important. So if I just did one hole of each, it could be just chance that the bees chose a particular hole to nest in. But if I have lots of them and they consistently choose one size, that gives them much a uh, much better indication, a much stronger indication that the bees actually care what size hole they're going in. Of course, the other thing is there's lots of different types of solitary bees. So it may be that different, size, different types of bee prefer different holes. It would seem logical because they differ in size. Anyway, it's time for me to get drilling. So I'm, I'm doing, this is the 10 mil drill bit. It's going to take a while, so we might have to speed through this. But basically, you just want to drill. I'm going to drill straight down. I don't want to come out the back, so it's important that the drill isn't the drill bit isn't longer than the wood, deeper than the wood. And generally, the holes need to be as deep as you can get them. One down, 59 to go. Okay, that's it for the 10 mil holes. Um, it's important to clean up the edges of the holes. You don't want little sharp uh, splinters that might damage the bees' wings as they come and go, just to make life easier for them. Uh, okay, so, on to the Onto the nine mil. Should get slightly easier. The smaller the holes, the easier they are to drill. Oh, not if you don't tighten the bit up properly, they aren't. So much for that being easier. Ah. 
Look at that, amazing. <laughs> it's a work of art, look. Uh, kind of. Um, just maybe a few little burrs to smooth out. But that should be 60 holes, if I've counted right, 12 of each. Just going to put a little bracket on the back so I can attach this to the house. So you could use your imagination as to how best to do this, but I've got a little bit of wood with uh, wood, <laughs> metal plate with some uh, holes in it. It's left over from a building job, which I'm just going to screw on the back. Bear with me. And if you can see what I'm doing. So there you go, you see. Now I can just screw through there and attach it to the wall of the house. So let's go and do that. So here we are next to the house. These are some existing B hotels, pretty obviously. This is a very similar design to the one I've just made, but with just eight mil holes that were 100% occupied last year. See, lots of them have emerged. You can see little holes where the bees have come out. They started coming out a couple of weeks ago, uh, mainly red mason bees. And they've been buzzing around every day. We've had clouds of them until today, and it's turned really cold and miserable, and the bees have all gone for a lie down somewhere. But they'll be back, and if I hang this, my new experimental hotel, next to the other occupied ones, then there'll be plenty of bees around when the sun does come out to, to see which size holes they prefer. So what I've got to do now is, is hang this up, which I'm just going to use this bracket and screw it onto the wall. Uh. the most beautiful thing ever but it should do should hold okay how exciting now we just wait and see what happens if you subscribe to my youtube channel you'll get notified when i post the update with the results okay see you next time